Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing fantastic out there. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of May 2024, where I am going to pull a seven card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. Whether you have a new person heading your way this week or you're already dealing with someone right now and you're just wanting to make certain that you can trust this individual to see if you guys are on the same page with your feelings towards each other and see what this person's next move is gonna be and your advice. Or you may have a returning lover. We will see. I will just do my very best to dive into your situation to see who you're connecting to this week, what your story is with the person that we end up channeling in, and go from there. I gotta let you know that I do get nosy in these readings. I don't hold back. I give the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything else in between. So please only take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't resonate, and don't give your power away to tarot cards, okay? Don't let tarot define your decisions, all right? So with that being said, let's get into it. Spirit, please dive into the energy of Scorpio today, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Who's heading towards Scorpio this week, and what can Scorpio expect? How will they recognize who this person is to them? Can Scorpio trust this person's intentions? How do they both feel about one another for the next seven days or so? And any anything in Scorpio's blind spot right now that could really challenge them in their love life that they could perhaps prepare for. Scorpio, love, May 2024. What is their weekly forecast? Scorpio is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today, as long as what comes through is for Scorpio's highest and greatest good. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful Scorpios. All right, let's first look at the person coming your way. Who's heading towards you and how do they feel about you? We have the Seven of Cups. Could be a fellow water sign. Does not have to be a water sign. It's somebody fantasizing about something. What that something is, we will find out. What's their intentions with you? Page of Cups. So looking at the first two cards, Scorpio, it's looking to me that someone's fantasizing about what they would like to say to you in order for something to blossom because the Page of Cups is someone that's got a crush. That's someone that's wanting to go on a date. That's someone that's wanting to see how you're doing. It's somebody that's like, Scorpio, I like you. Do you like me too? Now, if this is someone that you've already had history with and maybe you guys are kind of going through something that's leaving you both confused about the status of the relationship, it shows me someone intends to talk to you this week and they're coming in very sweet and very sincere. A lot of water energy, okay? Um, I am getting that someone here is wanting to be vulnerable. Let's take a look at their behavior and actions this week and then I'll get your feelings. The Ten of Cups. So Scorpio, your person's behaving in a way that is going to benefit something reaching another level, okay? It's like they feel like by coming towards you with this Page of Cups energy, it's going to clear the path for them to feel more confident that they're heading towards the Ten of Cups with you. So you've got someone that is falling in love with you or is fantasizing about a long-term relationship with you. The, the house, the kids, the dog, the cat, va family vacations, the whole nine yards. And if this is someone that you're already in an established relationship with, this is someone that is fantasizing about it just continuing, you know, a lot of water. Now I am looking at that rainbow and rainbows do come out after storms. So this could be implying that there could have been a stormy part of your relationship that took place recently, or your person is coming out of a stage of their life where things were very like chaotic. And now that they're coming towards you, Page of Cups, they feel like they're feeling a little bit more hopeful in their love life. It's a very sweet energy I'm getting off of them. Now, I will dive deep to see if there's anything else that we need to pay attention to, and I will pull the challenge position to see if there's any anything that's going to challenge the two of you. But so far, you got someone in their feelings this week. Um, let's take a look at how you feel. How does Scorpio feel about this person? The Ace of Pentacles, you like them too. The Ace of Pentacles is that energy you get when you can actually see a strong future with somebody. It's not just built off of sex. It's not just built off of puppy love. The Ace of Pentacles comes in when you're like, oh, okay, I wanna build a foundation with that person. 
that person is someone I could see myself with. Because the Ace of Pentacles in this art depiction shows me a man building the foundation of a house. And in order to have a sturdy house, it needs a strong foundation to avoid any unnecessary towers. So it's showing me you and this person trying to work on your foundation. Okay, but they're also showing me that there's an opportunity for you to have a stable uh, commitment for yourself, whether it's with this person or someone else. They're showing me that the opportunity is in front of you to have what you're looking for. And I could have sworn I got this for you in your most recent All Signs reading I did um, yesterday, which was telling me that I have a Scorpio that's also doing really well with their career and finances. <clears throat> you may have other opportunities that are being presented to you not just romantic love Scorpio. Okay, we will dive into that when we get there. Let's take a look at what's in your blind spot this week. What could challenge you this week? The Five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles as a challenge card tells me that if someone doesn't play their cards right, no pun intended, things could end up leading to someone being left on red. Um, and since your person is the one that's coming towards you with a message, it looks like something is up to you on whether or not you want to give this person what they're asking of from you. Or maybe this person's got the intentions to start off a conversation one way and then the conversation kind of goes er, and goes into a different direction and it ends up leading to an unfortunate argument. It, it could be anything at this point. Fives are the number of challenges. I will clarify this to see if this can be avoided. Because Scorpio, it's a minor arcana. Minor arcanas are day-to-day -day inconveniences, but they're not like life-changing energies, so it can be avoided, okay? Let's take a look at your potential weekly outcome. I'll get your advice, the overall energy, and then I'm gonna get nosy by clarifying, okay? Potential weekly outcome for Scorpio. The Seven of Wands. That's you standing up for what you believe in. That's you showcasing a lot of conviction. You showing your passionate side. You showing that badass side of you. You know, what makes you a Scorpio. It's, it's just this, this is your fiery part of you coming out. Because I like to look at Scorpios as like the watery fire sign. You guys are very intense. And it's, it's good for you in some occasions and not so good in other. What's your advice? Eight of Wands. So your advice is to be open to communication with this person because you look like you're happy here. You look like the conversation is flowing and you guys are making plans to see each other over the weekend or whatever the case may be. You could also be talking to someone that might live at a distance from you because sometimes the Eight of Wands is travel. It's you know keeping up with someone on social media because you don't live close. But it is showing me that there could be some sort of interference with you guys this week and I, I need to find out because that's the only negative card that I'm seeing so far. It's someone just not feeling like they're getting the support from somebody. What's the overall energy? The lovers. So with the overall energy this week being the lovers, it's telling me that love is definitely in the air for you. April showers bring May flowers. I'm strong again. May is filled with a lot of romance for a Scorpio out there. But I am getting a different message for somebody out there. I'm getting two different groups of Scorpios. I'm getting group A who really wants to grow old with this person, can already picture a future, a life with someone. But then I have another group of Scorpios that might have another person that is trying to win your heart and you might have a choice to make in love. Or your person does. Someone does. I'll buy that dog's tell-all book. I'll buy it. I'll pre-order it because he's got something to say. He's been watching. All right. And I'm looking at the Queen of Cups now influencing the Lover's card and I see the Ace of Cups. So Scorpio, your week is filled with a lot of romance. And then I see the Knight of Cups. Could be an age difference between you and somebody. Not a big age difference, but enough for you to be like, yeah, we got an age difference. Now, with the Queen of Cups influencing the Lover's card, you're showing up as your intuitive self. You're showing up as your lovable, sweet self. I love Scorpios. And what you're sitting with is this Ace of Cups. You're showing me that you're ready for the ultimate love offer. You're ready for unconditional love. You're, you're ready for that king, regardless of your gender. The Queen of Cups is someone that is a perfect match for the King of Cups, okay? And that's what you see in the Ten of Cups family portrait. If you look at the Ten of Cups, that is the King of Cups and a Queen of Cups. No gender specific. And a kid with a really bad haircut. 
this Arthur did this kid dirty. Um, but Scorpio, you've got the potential for a very beautiful opportunity for you, but I'm also getting a, a money situation for you too. So let's clarify. You got somebody coming here wanting to build a life with you, but I really want to know about that card. I might have a Scorpio that has an ex that's still lurking around, whether you're still focused on them or they are focused on you, and this other person is trying to build a life with you and start something with you, and then they get jealous of someone else giving you attention. Let's start with the Seven of Cups. Oh, hold on. The card was flipped over. Why is the Seven of Cups how this person feels about Scorpio? Someone here might be a tattoo artist or getting a tattoo around this time. Why the Seven of Cups? Judgment, major for Scorpio and the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords. So Scorpio, you've got somebody here that is having a huge realization about the two of you, like a huge wake up call. The Judgment card to the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Swords, that's the energy of, oh man, wow, I didn't even realize that, fill in the blank. Okay, but I am getting that you may be dealing with a bit of a worry wart with the Eight of Swords here where you've got somebody that tends to stay in their head a little bit too much than what's needed and might talk themselves out of doing certain things or saying certain things or expressing themselves in a way that they originally wanted to express themselves in order to reach the ultimate goal here, Ten of Cups. Um, someone takes baby steps and that could be why that Page of Cups is here. Someone feels more comfortable in, you know, playing it safe and not being too vulnerable, but is playing it too safe going to risk a Scorpio saying, hey, if you're not wanting to play hard, then let's not play at all. Because Scorpios are, are all or nothing. You know, you're the type that's like, I'm either in or I'm out. There's no in between. Scorpios go hard. You love hard. You play hard. You don't like to be played around. You know, when you set your sights on something, you put all of your effort into it. You're a fixed sign. All fixed signs do that. But combine that, that scorpion energy of yours, you, you take it up a notch compared to other fixed signs. You add the intensity, all right, which means you become unstoppable. Like if there's someone that you really like and you really want to be with them, you will move every mountain that's in your way in order to be with them. But if you're noticing someone's not moving those same mountains to meet you in the middle, you will just abandon it if you have to and leave someone on red and not respond to their messages. Okay. You've got a choice to make this week and you're trying to make sure that this choice is not going to bite you in the butt. So let's clarify your feelings. Why is Scorpio's feelings for this person the Ace of Pentacles? For some of you, you guys may work together, met each other at work, or you guys collaborate with each other in the same like field. Why the Ace of Pentacles for how Scorpio feels about this person? The Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in the upright, and then I see the Ten of Cups. So even though you see even though you see a stable opportunity with you and this person, something that could really go the distance, Ten of Pentacles, at this moment in time, for this week ahead, you may feel like this person is not doing what they need to do to prove to you that they are serious. You know, because the Seven of Cups is fantasy land. It's like, hey, Scorpio, wouldn't it be nice if we could do this or do that? Wouldn't it be nice if we got a house together? Wouldn't it be nice if we traveled here? And you're over here like, let's not fantasize about it. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's get it going. Let's do it. Let's make it a reality. And you may feel like this person's more talk than action, you know, because to be in all this water energy, that's dreamy energy. This person's in a, like a dreamlike state in, in regards to you, where they like to picture themselves kissing you, walking alongside a beach with a drink in their hand with you. They like the dreamy stuff. But when it comes to taking that dream into reality, you may feel like you're the one that calls the shots to get things going right you're the one that makes the plans and puts it into motion with that intensity of you because i'm looking at your person and they're stuck behind all these branches and looking at the 
at this scenario, you can find a solution. You can see that there is room for this cat to wiggle out of and they're just overthinking the situation. You're like, let's not focus on the problem, let's focus on the solution. That's how Scorpios are. Um, let's clarify this person's intentions because they do like you, Scorpio. They like you a lot, whoever this person is. In fact, this one, this little drawing right here says, I love you on it. Some of you may have known this person since childhood. That's not gonna be for everybody. Why the Page of Cups? Why the Page of Cups? Or someone has a child already. Why the Page of Cups? Well, Knight of Wands and that Two of Swords is back. So their intentions is to pursue you with a lot of passion, a lot of desire, a lot of oomph behind their eyes. Because the Knight of Wands, that is someone that is all about the rush and the, and the adventure. However, the Knight of Wands is also some, someone very unpredictable. You know, they're not really good with the follow through. I'll tell you that much. Very wishy-washy at times, perhaps. Could be someone with Libra in their moon placement. Let's take a look at that Five of Pentacles. Because the rest of the spread looks really good. Stop wiggling. My amethyst ball is wiggling. The rest of this looks good. It's just that one card. So let's see. I mean, the Six of Pentacles in reverse over here is quite similar to the Five of Pentacles over here. Why the Five of Pentacles? The King of Pentacles and the Fool. Someone is not a risk taker. And it's interesting how I'm looking at this feminine energy gambling in a casino and there's this dude out in the far distance outside, you know, not taking a chance, you know. And the fool is all about taking chances, taking risks. But when it's in the challenge position, someone might feel scared to take a risk this week. And I don't know why something feels like a risk. Is there a choice between two people? Does someone actually have to leave a commitment in order to pursue this with you or vice versa? Or do you guys work together and that's taking a chance, getting in trouble at the office? There's some sort of risk that someone is scared to take for some reason. You know what? I want to get another card on that. Hold on. I'm going. I went to pick up this stack of cards and the one that wanted to stay on the table is the four of wands. All right, some of you guys may be dealing with someone that's already in a commitment, but we'll see. Clarify that fool. What is this risk that someone's scared to take? I'm trying to figure out if it's you that's scared to take it or this person. But like I got earlier, I don't feel like Scorpios are the type to fear a, a, a risk if, if you feel passionately drawn to do something. I mean, if, if it ends up not being something that was worth the risk, that's a lesson that you're willing to take is what I get off of most Scorpios. Why the fool? Why the fool? Why the fool? The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, wow. The Wheel of Fortune. Clarifying a card that shows us casino and the fool taking... If someone's planning on going to a casino, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. If you're planning on going to Las Vegas, I, I feel like this is a warning not to spend more than you're willing to lose. That's just a side note for somebody here. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune, when it's in the challenge position, because I was clarifying the fool, that's someone feeling like something's not going to work out in their favor. It's feeling like they're getting nothing but bad luck in some regard. So Scorpio, if this person's not like trying to pursue this right now, or at least for the next seven days, or you, it's, it's kind of painting the picture that someone's scared that something is, is gonna backfire, whether they're gonna get rejected by you and they're scared, or the situation is not conducive for the two of you to take your fantasy and turn it into a reality, whether it's because you guys live far away or there's too many other people involved. There's something going on here where someone's like, I don't feel like this is gonna be in our favor. I don't know if I can do this, is what someone's saying. The Wheel of Fortune connects with faded opportunities, monumental changes in one's life. Um, but it's also in the challenge position. Something may not be what the universe wants for you right now. Judgment. Judgment, when it's in the challenge position, is not using one's judgment. And I got, I got the judgment card and the Eight of Swords for this person's feelings over here with the Seven of Cups. They, they're scared here. I don't know why they're scared, but they're scared. There's some sort of major decision. And then I see the Ten of Pentacles. There's family members involved. Whether you guys have a different cultural background or you guys grew up in a different you know, uh, money status or there's 
family members who have strong opinions on whoever someone dates or someone's already still like attached to another relationship okay and is restricted on what they can achieve all right i'm gonna leave that alone because that's not gonna fly for everybody um so for those who are not dealing with any third parties it feels like you've got somebody here that is fearing feeling really drawn to you but there's like this you know worry that someone has in the pit of their stomach in regards to whether something will work out or not and is scared of making the wrong decision so let's take a look at the ten of cups the ten of cups is this person's behavior towards you this this person's seeing it all with you but they can't seem to like get the ball rolling for some reason why the ten of cups the ace of cups and the seven of wands and I got the seven of wands as your weekly outcome. That's the energy of if you want it bad enough, fight for it. You know, prove, prove it that you want us to be together is what you may be saying to this person, Scorpio. You're like, put your money where your mouth is. Let's not fantasize about us being together. Let's be together. You know? Now, if you've got to fight for a connection, maybe that's a sign that it's not meant to be you know because you don't have to really fight for what's yours but this is telling me if someone's doing the bare minimum in establishing a relationship that's the energy of hey if you want me bad enough you got to do more than the bare minimum okay if someone's only been coming in with page energy instead of king energy you know what i mean because i have a scorpio here that's wanting the real deal you want the whole kit and caboodle. You want the whole shabam. You don't want someone coming to you with a, a love offer filled with romance and being in the moment. You want someone that actually is like taking the, the necessary steps to make it not just be the moment right now, but the moment in the future. You want to grow old with somebody. You know, you can't grow old with someone based off a of fantasy. It just won't happen. You know, Scorpio, you're not playing around. I'm strongly getting the energy of if you want me bad enough, we can make this happen. So what are you going to do? Because I'm already doing my part. Why is the Seven of Wands the weekly outcome? The Two of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So Scorpio, your weekly outcome is surrounding making a very important decision. A decision that involves pursuing this situation or a decision about just turning your back and walking away from it if you feel like it's not going to go where you want it to go. Could be dealing with a fire sign or you have Leo in your rising or moon placement. I'm strongly getting where this week you're all about taking chances. Okay, and if you're feeling like someone's not taking a chance on you, you'll take a chance on abandoning someone that you have feelings for if it means protecting your own well-being because you don't want to be stuck on stagnant. Okay, so let's clarify your advice because I do see you communicating with somebody here. Um, I do see a lot of love around you. I I'm strongly getting that there's more than one person around you. There's two. There's two people around you, Scorpio. I keep on getting that feeling. So you might have door number two awaiting you if someone doesn't come through door number one. Why the eight of wands? Now, if you're in a no contact situation or in a situation that is complicated, I will pull your person's hidden feelings for you at the end of this read. And do check out my most recent all signs reading, Scorpio, because I'm, I'm donating um, these cards. Not these ones ex um, specifically, but my old ones. I just replaced them. These were the old ones I've been using for the last few months. I'm donating it to a subscriber um, you have to enter and uh, enter the contest through the all signs reading okay these are my new ones that I just bought so if you like these artworks or the artwork on these cards then enter if you would like to all right why the eight of wands as the advice the two of cups and the ten of swords your advice is pretty much saying Scorpio what you want wants you to if you want that beautiful love connection that is filled with unconditional love and support and you've got someone that would just want to do anything to be by your side go towards the person that you feel like is providing all of that but if you're dealing with someone that's not doing what they need to do in order to build a life with you leave it alone and and begin your recovery okay protect yourself don't let anyone take away your shine don't let anyone take you from this to this 
because they're not willing to do what they need to do or do what they promise to do in regards to elevating your relationship. But if this person is doing everything that they said that they're gonna do, you guys have the ability to have a beautiful relationship. Okay, but it has to be mutual effort. Mutual effort needs to be made. Clarify the lover's card. I am feeling like there's another person coming through though. Uh, clarify the lovers for Scorpio. The lover's card. And then I got the five of swords and I got the six of swords and I got the seven of cups. So Scorpio, the lover's card is all about choices. And the six of swords is moving on from anything that's stressing you out, anything that's leaving you feeling like you've got to like, you know, put yourself through the mental ringer in order to get what you deserve. All right. You've got the eye of the tiger in this art depiction. You know what you want. You're packed with all that intensity. You were born to transform your life. You were born to take on challenges. It's how you, you thicken up and you grow. Okay, so I don't see you um, staying where you don't belong too long. But it's up to you to figure out if you are supposed to belong here. I hope this reading made sense. There's definitely something going on for you in your love life this month. I've been picking up on that for you, Scorpio. But as far as your money is concerned, something about your work is improving. I got this message on your all signs reading I did yesterday. I will link that in the description box below. All you have to do is go to the Scorpio timestamp. For zodiac signs that came through this reading today, I have Gemini, I have Cancerian energy, I have Scorpio, I have Leo, I have um, Taurus, Aquarius, um, but it really could be any zodiac sign. Don't even worry about that. Please drop that like and subscribe button for your girl Scorpio. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below of every video. Also, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs Their Feelings for You spread, where I dive into your person's feelings for the next seven days and I look at your feelings too. And I also interact with you live on camera. I show my face. Um, so hope to see you there. Our love was too intense for me to handle. I needed to break away. Scorpio, for some of you, this person felt like the connection was too intense. You know, to be with a Scorpio, you really have to be with a Scorpio. Scorpios don't settle. Scorpios expect people to challenge themselves and push themselves to be better each day. You do not want people to show up not, you know, as their better self. So this person may feel like you were just too intense for them. Okay? There's so much unspoken between us, I need to tell you how I really feel. You were my home and now I feel like I'm out in the cold. Now remember, this is for my situationship group or my no contact group. I kept up a facade to the world but you always saw past that into my soul. Yeah, you can't, squirt. You can't lie to a Scorpio, for real. But Scorpio, you have, you've got someone that likes you. They want to have a future with you, but they need, a, like, they need some motivation to getting the ball rolling. But if that person doesn't fall through, I feel like there's another energy surrounding you if you, if you want a different you know, take on it. Okay, so I hope this reading helps. Smile to your cheeks here. I'll check back in with you in a few days for your next weekly update. Um, do check out your May Love Monthly I did for you. It's in the May playlist um, on my homepage of this YouTube channel. All right, take care. Love you.